Well, let's further break down this CP3 news with a former teammate of his, NBA analyst JJ Reddick. Chris Paul goes from foe to ally in Golden State after a decade of battling in the playoffs. Just want to gauge your initial reaction when you found about this news? Well, I was fascinated by this trade for a couple reasons. First of all, the Warriors are a team that has thrived on body and ball movement. Steph even has described their style of play offensively as chaotic. And then you think about Chris Paul, how methodical, how controlled, how organized he is. Uh, you, you, here's a great stat to prove this. The, the Warriors had the shortest average touch length in the half court. Chris mm. Paul had the seventh longest touch length in the half court. And then on the other side of this, I'll be fascinated uh, by the interactions with the referees. If Draymond Green comes <laughs> back to the Warriors, as I expect him to do, uh, between him and CP, it's going to be a long night for referees <laughs> when they call Warriors games. That's a great point. They are definitely not going to see that one scheduled. Uh, by the way, he could be ticketed for a reserve role, CP3, after starting every single game of his career. Thus far, 1,363 games will certainly see. Okay, so if the CP3 news is the shot, then the whammy we had last night is the chaser. I'm talking about just after midnight, Woj reporting. Changes to Boston Celtics after their disappointing loss to the Heat in the East Finals. And it sends a cornerstone of Boston walking in Memphis. Here's the details of the deal between the Celtics Wizards and the Grizzlies. The Celtics get Kristaps Porzingis and two first round picks from the Grizzlies. Washington gets Tyus Jones, Dino Gallinari, Mike Muscala, and a second round pick from Boston. And the Grizzlies will get former Defensive Player of the Year, Marcus Smart. So, JJ, what do you make of the Celtics retooling that roster with Porzingis and ending the Marcus Smart era? Well, I actually love this deal for the Boston Celtics. Uh, Porzingis had his best season as an NBA player and quietly had a fantastic defensive season. Besides the offense, his rim protection was great. Gives Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum an opportunity to have a big they can play offensive action with, whether it's pick and roll or two-man game. But it didn't come without a price. Uh, Marcus Smart has been such an integral part of the Boston Celtics' success and their culture. I like the deal for Memphis as well. And I'm also, again, going back to that fascinating point, you look now at the Washington Wizards. They've now traded Chris Paul, Kristaps Porzingis, Bradley Beal, and the only first round pick they got out of those three deals was a 2030 protected pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, 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 certainly it looks like it was a front-loaded haul for one team. And you mentioned Porzingis and getting those career highs and points per game and field goal percentage. And a big part of that, J.J., was his availability. He was actually out there. He played 65 games most in a season since the second year he was in the league. J.J. Redick joining us ahead of the NBA draft. We'll see you on our draft coverage coming up right here on ESPN. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.